Cokes, this is Vince and Natalie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out The Little Flower Shop. This game supports one to four players, it's for ages 10 and up, and the average playtime is 20 minutes. In this game, each player owns their little flower shop, and they're going to be trying to seed it with vases and flowers and hanging baskets, and the person that can do that the most efficiently will win the game. This game has a little bit of hand management, some drafting, uh, a little bit of everything. So let's go ahead, take a look at it, roll up our sleeves, get dirty, and play the little flower shop. Let's go weed out the competition. So are you going to actually have a strategy with this game, or are you going to win by sheer luck? Oh, that was a good one. Whatever happens, I believe in you. Oh. Let's put the pedal to the metal. Okay, so we've set up the game for two players. I have the blue player board and Idly has the red player board. Each player starts with three of these vases of their color, and you can see that they have different flowers pictured on them. This means that um, each vase will hold something specific. In this case, with the white or black flowers as listed here, any flowers can be put into these vases. So if you have a two flower card, they can be slotted into this vase because this little white flower picture means that it's a wild. If you've got something like this, rather, where you've got a pink, red, and yellow, you have to match the correct flower card um, with the matching vase before you can slot it. Okay? So pretty simple stuff there. So the player boards. Um, each of these player boards can fit six of these vases, uh, at least along the bottom. You can fit a vase here and a vase here. You can also fit three of these hanging baskets. As far as the outside of the board is concerned, there's some symbols along the top here. This tells you in what direction you're going to be passing cards um, after you play one. In the first and third round, you're going to play them clockwise to the next player, and then in a second round, you're going to play them counterclockwise. Uh, you've got a trash area over here, and you've got a storage area over here, a maximum of four cards in your storage. Each player also gets one of these cash registers. This is just a way to keep track of what's in your bank. Just a little bank card. As far as this stuff is concerned, there's some neutral money. Um, it's just, you're just going to put that out in the middle of the table for everyone to use. You're going to shuffle the deck of cards here, and that's it. It's, that's it. That's set up. It's very easy. As far as the box and everything else, here's a look at the components that we didn't use. This is the box insert. Um, Again, it supports two other players, so there's two that we're not using. You've got your rule book here, which is about eight pages long or so. It does a nice job of explaining mostly everything. And there's also a shop card distribution. It explains what kind of cards that you'll see in the deck. I guess we'll look at that real quick. You've got flowers. Again, you're going to be slotting these flowers into these vases, assuming they match. Um, you've got, again, different flowers that have either two or three on them and so on. You're going to have these baskets, and these baskets here are, again, hung in your board there. Um, you've got money, and then you've got these order cards. Order cards are placed into your storage whenever you draft them, and then you can sell a flower card or a vase card and get quick money. So if you're down on money and you need to fulfill an order, you can do that. Now, there are some other rules, obviously, that I skipped over, but uh, we'll get into that now. So, how do you play this game? Well, at the beginning of every round, and there's a total of three rounds, we're going to deal seven cards to each player. Let's go ahead and do that now. So I get one, you can take seven as well. Four, five, six, seven. So there should be seven cards in our hands. Now, like Sushi Go, we're going to look at our hand, we're going to choose one, play it face down, and then when everyone's ready, we're going to reveal and play it. How you play it is determined by what card type you pick. Okay. If you happen to draft a flower, um, you can do one of two things with it. You can put it into your storage, or you can put it into the appropriate vase, assuming that it matches. Um, you've got order cards. Order cards are put off to the side into your storage, and at any time during the game, you can fulfill one. To fulfill one, uh, like I said, you're going to discard either a flower or a vase. You can discard a flower or vase from here or from your storage, and you'll get some money for it. You can also sell... Um, a vase with a flower, assuming that they're grouped together into your t in your tableau. You can sell them both for some extra cash. Um, other card types, there's a vase. Again, you're going to put those in your player board. The other ones that we didn't see, there are salary cards, which act as money, which is sort of what these do as well. Um, any, any money that you draft is immediately put into your cash register. 
And I think we're ready to go. Um, and we'll explain more rules as we do it. Now, in a two-player game, um, there is a two-player variant that you can observe if you want to. And I actually like it, so we're going to do it. So, typically, again, look at your cards, pick one, face down, wait for everyone to do it. Reveal, play it, pass. Well, before the passing, we're going to draw a card from the deck, add it to our hand, and then choose one to discard. That way, we have the option to get rid of cards that we don't like that we see, and we'll also see more cards out of the deck that way. In a two-player game, I think it's necessary, but that's just my opinion. So, um, did you pick one? Yeah, is it, a quick question, is mm. it better to reveal or to pick and then discard? Because if you reveal, you kind of know... It's the rules say to reveal, play, and then do that. Oh, okay. Before you pass. I see. It's rule specific. Okay. So we're going to reveal. This is a three flower card, and it happens to match this vase that I have here. So I'm going to slot that like so. Each vase can only hold one flower card, so make sure that, you know, you're picking the right one. Okay, so there's that. And you got a what, a vase with a single rose on it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, there are little petals on the bottom of these vase cards. That is victory points. Um, that's also known as flower power. Uh, that's what it's called. Um, the number of petals on the bottom of these cards are victory points, and that is that will help you determine how many points you get at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. um, so now we draw one and we discard. So, out of all these cards, which one do I not want to see or have, if any? Um, I, I guess we'll get rid of get rid of that one. And that just gets discarded there. All right, whenever you're ready. All right, so here's my hand. You're gonna, I'm gonna take yours. Rinse and repeat. We're going to look at our hand. We're going to decide what we want to play. There's a basket. Um, baskets are immediately played. Whenever you draft it, you place it into your, in your storage, and then you pay money from your register to place it out onto the board. The little leaves is how many victory points you get at the end of the game for having it in your shop. Um, so let's go ahead and do... Wow. Okay. I guess I'll go ahead and draft... That one. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Reveal. All right, so I've got a purple. I've got a vase with a purple flower on it. I'm going to put that into my shop. And what did you get? A two wild. A two wild. wild. Okay, so again with these white symbols, these white colors here, that those are wild. So you can put any flower card in here. So as long as the number matches. In this case, two flowers. So she put a two flower card in there. Yep. Now we're going to draw. Pick one to discard and discard it. So let's go with, oh, I don't know. I guess we'll just get rid of, get rid of that one. That's for you whenever you decide. Hmm. Okay, this is for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, so do I want this one as my two wild or not? Hmm. I'm actually... Well, see, that's a vase, though. I'm actually going to play this one. So, reveal. It's an order card that goes in your storage. That's your trash. <laughs> so, and I got a vase with a white flower on it. Now we draw and choose one to get rid of. Um, I guess I'll get rid of that one. Oh crud. I'm an idiot. <laughs> what? So this goes to you whenever you're ready. It's our first game, so we're going to make stupid mistakes. It's not yeah, a big deal. Um, right, I'll discard that then. Okay. Um, okay, so there is a twofer. There's a one. Okay, so what might I want to do with this? Um, I'm actually going to choose this and reveal. reveal. It's $2. I'm going to put that over here in my bank. 
and you've got a basket that you're going to put in your storage. And again, at any point, you can go ahead and do any of these that you want. Can I sell? You can sell if you want. You can sell from your storage or from the table. I'm going to sell this. You want to sell this one here. Okay, so you want to sell just the flower? Both. Okay, so if you sell both, it would be, let's take a look at the card. It's a two flower card, right? Mm -hmm. So it's $4 for the two flower card. And then if you're going to sell the vase on top of that, it's $2. So that's, you get $6 from the middle here. And you have to discard Five, those flowers. Six. Oh, and the trash? Uh, discard them here. Oh, I was going to say. No, you don't get penalized for that. They go away. <laughs> okay. I was like, wow, that's really Well, this is a starting player one, so I'm just going to put oh, that yeah. off to the side. Okay. And now we pick and do the discard? Uh, yeah, now we well, we draw and write as per the variant. Um, hmm. Which does she have? I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, I'll get rid of this one. Okay. Mm. Running out of room. Okay, let's go with... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose this one. Play it face down and reveal. It's just flowers that I cannot place, so I'm going to put that over here into my storage. Mm -hmm. So you're going to socket that three flower. Oh, nice. I gave you that one on a platter, didn't I? All right, so that's right. We oh, draw yeah. and, yeah, discard. Ooh, that was a nice one there. Um, you know what? I'm going to discard this one. By the way, um, at any point, you can rearrange your tableau as you see fit. Cards to storage, storage to, you know, it, you can do any, any, any time. All right, so now I've got these to mess with, um, which I'll go ahead and play this, yeah, play this one. I'm going to buy this basket. Now? Go ahead. Yeah. If you want, go ahead. Um, three dollars, three victory points. So that's three. I'm you, making change, right? You're making change. How much did you have? Six. Okay. And this is cost three, so I get three in return. Yeah, okay. I can do a little math. Good job. <laughs> Why didn't you just give up this five? What did you have in, in your... I had six. Oh, you had six? Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, so now we reveal. And I'm going to place this rose here on this wild vase. I got a three. A three dollars? Okay, so that goes there. Last card. That goes I to you. I thought we... Pick up oh. first and then discard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did we? we I thought we did that. We, no, we, we didn't. only picked our. Okay, cards. cool. All right. Yeah, keep me honest. Okay, <laughs> so out of these two, which one do I don't want her to have? Um, does it matter? It doesn't matter. All right, so I'm just going to. Yeah, here you go. Now, for the last card of a round. You can do this one time per round, obviously. Uh. <laughs> you can pay $2 out of your bank to discard your last card and draw a random one from the deck, uh. if you want to. I'm not going to do that yet. I think I might need that $2 for something else. I'm just going to play this, and that's that. I'm also going to play... Might as well just slot this. Again, you can rearrange flowers at any time, so I see no reason not to put these in here. This is a wild two. This is a two flower card. Um, this is a three, so I can't play that yet. So you said we can pay two dollars? You can pay two dollars to discard what you have and draw a new one from here. Just one time though. So if you don't like what yeah, you draw, I'll you're... Do that. All right, so you've got... Three dollars and I'll pay two, right? Okay. So two dollars. So I get one in return. Where'd you get all that money from? Holy cow, look at you. <laughs> Most money bags over there. So you're gonna you're gonna discard that card and draw a new one, right? Yeah. So get rid of that. Oh, oh, okay. So I get rid of that. You get rid of it, yep. And now you have to play that, whatever it is. It's an order card. Okay. So that <laughs> ends the first round. That's it. And um, I can't shoot I can't do anything. Like I can't actually pause the game and sell some flowers. You can, at any point you can do that. Even between rounds? It doesn't matter. Oh, it's okay. yeah, go ahead. If you want to go ahead and sell, you can sell. So that's five, six, seven dollars? Depends on what you're trying to do. This thing. You, this that the whole complete thing? Yeah. Okay, now keep in mind, at the end of the game, you get victory points for the following. 
So I'm just saying, before you do that, this is what you get victory points for. Let's go ahead and just show that to the audience real quick too. Um, you move empty vase cards from your shop window to your trash, trash all cards in storage, keep money cards and salary cards in one's register. Flower power victory points. Okay, each petal at the bottom of a filled vase card is worth one victory point. Uh, score two, three, or four points for each hung basket, as shown on the card. Score one victory point for each five dollars in your register. Deduct one flower power for every two cards in your trash round down. So the more you sell from here, I mean, you've got four victory points there. Yeah. So do you want to give up those four victory points for this? However, I, like, I like money. You like money. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I mean, you get victory points for money too, right? Five. You get it's one victory point for five dollars. So you're giving up a four victory point card for one victory point, almost. How, 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 many, how much money are you getting that from that? Seven. Seven dollars. Okay, so if you think about it, you're getting 1.3 or 1.4 victory points. Oh, yeah. On a card, on, on, on a set that gives you four victory points. Yeah, you know. Okay. You may not want to do that. You've got, you've yeah. got four dollars in your, again, at any point you can sell. So you, okay. Don't, okay. you can wait and see what you need. Yeah. In my, that's what you should probably do, in my okay. opinion. Okay. Um, okay, so now we get seven cards for round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right, I want to play these discards face up, just so I don't lose track. <laughs> okay, and let's look at our cards, and we're going to pick. All right, so out of all of these, I'm going to see which ones I need, actually. Hmm. I will. I will take. I guess I'll take. Well, yeah, I'll take. I'll take this one. And ready? Yeah. Review. So, vase, and you got a basket. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna put that there so they can see it. And now we're gonna draw one and then discard one. All right, which one do I not want you to have, if any? Eh. I don't want to get rid of, get rid of that one. Okay. Of course you would discard that one. Of course you would. <laughs> All right, wow, lots of money in this hand. Holy cow. All right. Um, I will take this one, and you might get some cards like this. Um, this means a purple and any other color. So I'm actually going to take that one. Okay. Ready? Reveal? Alright, so it's a vase. It goes up there. I'm going to slot this in here. Okay. And now we draw and discard. Fancy. Um, I don't know if I like her having that one, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. She might use it. Oh, I'm getting rid of this one. Okay. Okay, um... <laughs> it's a trap. Alright, I guess... I'll take that one. And reveal. Uh, it's a hanging basket, storage. I'm going to pay to place it now. So I'm just going to put it. It's For one dollar, I get two victory points. So I'm going to give this two up and get a one. This just goes discard and then one dollar. I'm going to... This is what I count. And I'm going to place this basket that I already have in storage. Okay. So for five dollars, you're going to get four dollars or four victory points at the end of the game. Yeah. Cool. So six dollars and then one. Now these again. Some of these are money and some are salary. So you want to make sure that you've got the right. Yeah. So these go into the discard oh, pile. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and, and we draw and discard. Okay. Um, I don't know. If I like. She's gonna. Hmm. It's a tough decision. You know, I'm just gonna get rid of that one. All right, there you go. Wow, 
Okay. Um, I will choose that one. She's scheming. I'll choose this though. Alright, so reveal. It's money. Yep. <laughs> and now we draw and discard. Um that's fine. Let's get rid of that one. An order card. Alright, there you go. And out of all of these, geez. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. All right, reveal. It's uh, a flower, which I will socket here. This is a wild. And now we draw and discard. Um, hmm. Get rid of that one. There you go. Mm -hmm. Whole lot of choices, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Not helpful, not helpful, not helpful. Um, huh. Let's go with... I, I guess I kind of have to do this one. And then reveal. It's just mm -hmm. I gotta store it. Flowers draw and discard. Uh, I can't let her have that. I can't let you have this one. <laughs> yeah, the two wild. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Right, there you go. Last card again. You can pay two dollars to get rid of it if you want. I'm tempted, but I only have four dollars in my bank. I might need it for the next round. I'm gonna get rid of this. And pick one. Oh, you are going to do that? Yeah. Okay. You've got plenty of money, so it's not a problem for you. And I have to play it, right? Yeah, you have to play it. Um, I'm going to actually just store it. Okay. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but... Um, all right, so that's the end of the second round. And now we're going to move on to the third one. We're going to go ahead and draw seven more cards for each other. One, two... I three, like how you're strategically three, hiding four, your flowers. Five, <laughs> six, seven. Draw seven. Here. There you go. Now you see what I have. Nah, There's not. no strategic no. hiding here. I do not want to be accused of doing what you would do inherently. It's fine. Mm. No big deal. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's funny. All right. So, goodness gracious. Ish. Ish is right. All right. I might want that one. Actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this one out of the way. All right, so we're going to do that one. Mm -hmm. And ready? All right, so flower sockets here. Yellow, yellow. One flower, one flower. Oh, gosh, I keep forgetting. And now we draw and discard. Oh, I'm so Hmm. Okay, well, here's that one. Um... I'm going to get rid of this, one of these, it's fine. There you go. <laughs> and now I get to go. Let's see what we got in here. Um, wow, you really hate me. Um, all right, <laughs> so <laughs> actually, you know what? No. Bunch of flowers, no vases, nothing matching anyway. Well, here's the thing. Again, I can rearrange. So if I have something like in a wild, hmm, I can't you know. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange, actually. I'm going to put this vase here. 
Oh, you can, oh, nice. Again, at any point, you can rearrange. I'm going to take this flower out of the wild and put it with its matching oh, flower. Sweet. This frees up this one wild flower here, down here. Mm -hmm. um, this is a two of any color. This is pink that's yellow. Oh, is this the third, the last round? This is the last round of the game. So I'm just trying to get rid of some of that, those cards in storage okay. as best I can. Um, in that case, I'm going to choose um, this... I'm going to choose this red one. Reveal. And socket that right here. On, on this wild vase. And now we draw and discard. My gosh. Oops. Let's get rid of uh, that. Alright, there you go. And wow, okay. So this is actually good for me. I'm going to keep this one. Oh, I would have to trash something. I, I kind of have to, though. Ah, ah, ah. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I, again, you can freely trash in this game. Um, but once you move a card into your trash, it's permanently gone. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to... Are you ready to reveal? Yeah. This is a vase. It matches this one over here. Mm -hmm. But now i got to decide which vase I want to give up. Um... Is there any hope of me getting a one purple flower by the end of the game? I don't know. Probably not, because she knows. It, she won't let me have it. So I'm more than likely going to tr just, just trash this one and nice. put this vase and this flower couple there. Lucky. <laughs> mm. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, so now we draw and discard, right? Yeah. Alright, so... I'm going to discard this one because she can use that oh, here. Oh, that's right. Oof, you're killing me. You're killing me, babe. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because there's another card in here that you can use to get that. Yeah. I, I, it was either, you know. Actually, you know what? I'm going to discard a different one. I'm going to discard the natural one because it's worth more petals. Ooh. So you can use the one that I picked up, okay. but it's going to be worth less petals. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> no. All right, so now I got this remaining. Um, I, yay, yay. Um, out of all of this crap, um, hmm. Well, I kind of have no choice. I'll, I'll take, I'll take this one. I think because I can't use any of these other ones. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. So whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm gonna use that. Money. And now we draw. And I, um. And discard. I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, do what you needed. Mm -hmm. And then draw and discard. Sorry. Okay. You're gonna sock it. Is that what you just did? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Socketed. All right. So I gotta discard one. Um. What flowers do you need? Well, <sighs> crap. So you've got all oneers there. Um, in that case, I'll just give you. Yeah, I'll just discard that one. Doesn't matter. All right. So there's that. And now I got these. Um, that's actually kind of nice. I will take this one. Good? Yeah. Alright, reveal. I'm gonna go this goes to storage normally, but I'm gonna pay three dollars to hang it now. Nice. So that brings me down to two bucks in my bank. And this is a salary card, so that goes discard pile. Cool. And then we draw and discard. So out of all of these, um I t fine. Um I don't think she yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. 
These are ears. We're leaving each other with no, barely any choice at this point. This one, that's just a waste. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think it really matters at this point. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to choose this one. Play it face down whenever you're ready, hon. Time thinking. Take your time. Um, no. Oh man. Okay. I will keep. Oh, I have to keep something. So then, okay, that sticks. Well, you play something right now. You're you're you you're playing you're playing a card face down to play. So out of those two cards, which one is the lesser of the two evils? So now we reveal, and then we play it. So it's an order card. Okay. So because my max storage is four, I'm going to actually um, sell these. Okay. I'm going to use this to sell this, which is five bucks. Five bucks? Awesome. Okay, so you can discard those two. Okay. So she used an order card Look. to sell these three flowers. And I got five bucks for it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to discard these two. And did you take five? Yeah. Okay, cool. I did. All right, and now we draw and discard. And I'm going to get rid of that one. <laughs> and then this is for you. Okay. Flowers, three flowers for me, big big deal. Um, I'm, I have no choice but to, I mean, I could, I've got three dollars. So I could, I could chance it. I mean, it doesn't matter because if this goes here, um, it doesn't matter because I'm going to have, I have two anyway. It's minus one for every two cards in your trash. So this would make three regardless. So it doesn't matter if I pay two dollars or not. If I pay two dollars, I go from three to one. And it's still not the five dollars that I need to get a victory point. So it, again, I, I'm just going to go ahead and play it and put it into my storage. And then these will go into the trash. It's the end of the game. So go ahead and you do you. And then... You can decide what you want to do. You can pay... How much money do you have? You've got 10 exactly, right? Yeah. So that's two points that you've got there. You can give but, up... You but, can, what I'm going to do... Oh. You could give up one point to pay $2 to replace and hope that you get a one card. Well, here's the thing. If you get a uh, one flower card, that's just one victory point anyway. There's only one petal at the bottom of that one wild I'm flower. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna pay. But no, but you're taking the risk of, you're either gonna get one to one, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna do it, I have a strategy. Okay. This goes, this is a salary card. So oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, God. <laughs> Did you screw yourself out of a point? It's a three flower card, okay, you can't play that. Yeah, but I'm gonna use my order cards and sell these. Okay, go for it. So, five bucks for that. Okay. And four bucks for this. Okay. So, yep. So two and four. And these go in the trash. Uh, no, empty ones go in the trash. Yeah, these are empty. Okay, they're empty? Yeah. Okay. I have one empty one here. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Oh, well. I, I wasn't thinking about this empty one here. Mm. Okay, so that ends the game. So what we're going to do now is we get negative one point for every two cards that we have in our trash. Um, so we're going to count up the number of petals that we have on the bottom of these cards that are fulfilled. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, nice. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, minus 2 is 21. So I have 21 points. I didn't get any uh, points for that over there. I have 14 here. 14. 14 overall. Yeah, with minus 1, with my baskets and everything. 14. Okay. But I have 5, 10, 2, 4, 6, 7, so that's 3 extra points. <laughs> yeah, so you, 17? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you're, you got 17. Dang. That's not bad. It was, it was a close game. To, I mean, it looked like I had a lot of flowers here, which I did, um, and you didn't have a whole lot, but you had these hanging baskets, you had a lot of money, which counted for the, stuff too. The money, I thought the money was going to be worth uh, way more. That's why I was really focusing on money if I knew. Um, I, my strategy definitely would have been a lot different. <laughs> you made a lot of money. That's all there is to it. Yeah. 
You did good though. I, I, I won in my head. <laughs> you, you did win. You won more, you were the breadwinner in this game. <laughs> I won economically. You won economics. You won all the economics. And there you have it, our first run through of the little flower shop. What did you think? It was, it was cute. It was okay. Um, I would have tried that other variant um, just to see how different it would be. You mean the original rules? Yeah. And I don't like that we can actually see what's in our storage. I think that's kind of... You want to hide the items in your storage? You mean like I from other players? It. Yeah. You mean? Yeah. That's an interesting thing to try. I mean... I think it'd make it like more like memory based and more like, okay, let me try to remember what I had in my hand, and then once you pass it, then you have to try to remember and strategize. Now, in more. your in your line of thinking, can you see it and not your opponents, or you can't see what you have? Is that what you're saying? Both. Both, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't agree with that. <laughs> I agree with you being able to see what you have in your storage, but other yeah. players can't. But hey, it's it's if you buy this game, it becomes yours. Yeah. So try it out. Either way, and see if you like it. I mean, just because it's not in the rule book doesn't mean you can't play that way. I, I'm a big proponent of play how you want. Yeah. Um, like, visually, the game is really cool. Um, the cards, I've shuffled, I shuffled them plenty of times before the game, and they show a little wear already. Um, I don't know if it's just because I've shuffled poorly, but I can clearly see that they're bent and, and a little warped. Yeah. I, I don't like that. Um, and socketing the cards is tough sometimes because it's easy to knock your board around and, and the vases spin out of place. They're very soft and slippery. Yeah, yeah, so they slide on your player board. So, like, it's similar to that of, like, terraforming wires where if you've got a whole bunch of cubes on certain spots and you actually hit your player board and stuff goes all over the place... Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know anything that can be done to fix that, but... I, li I like the cards. Despite them being really slippery, it feels homey. Like, this is a very comforting, yeah. homey type of game. As for gameplay, did you like it? I liked it. Mm -hmm. um, I, like, I like the whole Sushi Go drafting, where, you know, you're choosing a card, passing it. I like the two-player variant because you see more cards out of the deck, and it's more strategic because it makes you think about what your opponent has and what you want to discard so that they can't use it. Mm -hmm. um, so it, there's more choices with that two-player variant than with the standard variants. Um, but gameplay-wise, I liked it. Um, I, I like the fact that there's wild vases in, in the form of those white-colored uh, flowers on those vases. Yeah. Um, without wilds, this game would be very difficult to, you know, yeah. to accomplish anything in. That's why I don't like the fact that we can actually see because it's so easy to block somebody. In a two-player game, easy. in a two-player game, it becomes more cutthroat. Yeah. In a four-player game where there's more people and more cards and it's harder to keep track, I think I, I think it would be less cutthroat in a four-player game than it would be in a two-player game, as, as evidenced mm -hmm. here. I was constantly looking at her board trying to figure out what to discard or yeah, same thing. what not to give her. Um, so it's, yeah, it, that may upset some people. I know a lot of people <laughs> that prefer a more solitaire approach to the games they play, yeah. even though there's other people like Alhambra is very solitaire-esque in gameplay. And there's very little that you can do to mess with someone else. In this game, in a pass and play and discard environment, with that discard variant, you can screw other people over, mm -hmm. especially so in a two-player game. Like, I normally wouldn't mind that, but it was just so easy to do mm -hmm. that it became, it becomes second frustrating. Right. You know? It's second nature. Like, oh, I know you're not going to get... Like, it, it made me like, okay, I wanted this vase. Like, you often gave me cards that matched... Yeah, like, there was a purple good. vase and a purple flower. I'm like, these two would go great together. Mm -hmm. The moment I choose one of them, she's going to discard the other one. Yeah. I knew that. So I was like, okay, I just won't pick any of them and then choose something else instead. Yeah. So again, there was, there was more strategy, but also more tunneled gameplay because we knew we were gunning for each other. But in terms of, like, casual, like, it's casual, it's easy to learn. Um... I like the theme, I like the, the color, the art, I like a lot of things about it. It's, it's a really cool, casual, filler game. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, there are solo rules in the rulebook that we did not cover. So if you want to play solo, you can. Um, any other final thoughts? It was an okay game. I liked it. Um, would you play it again? Maybe. Maybe. I, here's the thing. If I didn't own a gazillion games already, I would probably, because I like it. But because of my busy schedule and the amount of games I cover, it's going to go on my shelf and I won't see it again for another year. Yep. Which is unfortunate, but it's just the way that my life is. So it may be different. Now, if, if you given the option, would you play this again right away? 
or are there other games that you would prefer over this There's one? There's other games that I would prefer, but this is definitely in the mid range. This isn't a lower one for me. This is in the middle, so. This isn't a game that you'd want to see me scrap or sell off to somebody. Yeah, don't, don't, because I, I would play it again, you know, on a random chance. Right. Not, I'm not saying I was going to, I'm just saying, yeah. you know, it's <laughs> mid range. It's not, it's not bad enough to sell, but it's not great enough to be on any sort of award yeah. list. It's, it's just kind of a mediocre, casual experience, drafting, flowers. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's yeah. not bad. It's, it's not it, too bad. It's good. It, it, yeah. it, for me, it would be a lot funner. Funner? More yeah. fun. Funner. <laughs> <laughs> if there were dice. She says that every single time. Developer, don't take that to heart. <laughs> she loves dice, okay? She loves dice. Well, imagine, like, if you choose to, to, to s sell a flower, like, depending on how many uh, flowers there are in a vase, you can roll that number of dice and then earn that many. Um, that would be too RNG, though. Okay, what if okay. I roll, what if you roll, like, three sixes or whatever? Yeah. And I roll three ones? That's big. That wouldn't that be fair. That makes cutthroat. That would not be, no, that level of RNG would not sit well with me. No, <laughs> wrong. Unbalanced crap dice. Well, at least the hidden object, like, just not the, being... I, I, do, I do like the idea of a hidden storage that only you can see. Yes, that's fine. I like that idea. Yeah. So, that's possible fine. variant for you folks. Mm -hmm. The Little Flower Shop, if you guys haven't already subscribed to us on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I'm going to publish. This is Vince and Idly. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.